President Obama would do well to understand exactly what happened in 1937 when Franklin D. Roosevelt decided to cut spending during the Depression, which created yet another recession. What he's doing by starting with the freezing of employee salary increases, with trying to reduce the size of the budget at this time in our economic collapse, is wrong. There is only one segment of our population at this point in time that should offer more, and that is the wealthy. Over the last 30 years, the wealthy has been beneficiaries of a middle class that has produced, that has increased their productivity, and the only ones that have reaped the rewards have been those at the top. 2%. To penalize government workers goes completely against not only morality, but it also goes against one of the tenets that Republicans speak about constantly. And that is, if you want to get good employees, if you want to have good administrators, you must be willing to pay them. That is the reason they gave for the bankers getting big bonuses in as much as they destroyed the economy, they claimed if they didn't allow them to be paid, that somehow they would go elsewhere. Shouldn't we be concerned then that our government workers will go elsewhere if their pay is not consummate with what they're doing? Once again, the first people, the first group is the middle class that is asked to feel the pain of our budget deficits. The reality is these budget deficits are mostly caused not by paying employees of the government, not by welfare programs. These deficits are caused mostly by corporate welfare. 20 to $40 per plate fees to companies furnishing food for our Iraq and Afghanistan soldiers while they pay foreign employees to serve them at less than minimum wage while they reap large profits. It is corporate welfare where we should begin our cutting. It is increasing the tax rate on those who benefited the most, not just from tax cuts, but they benefited from the middle class, the lower classes, the ones who fight the wars to keep the lanes of commerce open, the ones whose intellect, the ones whose blood, sweat, and tears create the products for the capitalist whose sole purpose in life is produce the ill-gotten capital. Many would say this is tantamount to class warfare. To which I say, yes, class warfare has been going on since the inception of Reaganomics, the inception of supply-side economics. And the only class that's been warred against has been the middle class. It is time for the middle class to start asserting itself and asserting that it is what has made this country, great.